Lisa the Painful is one of my favorite video games. My boy, Austin Jorgensen, put a giant amount of thought and effort into this game, from crafting the characters, building the absurd yet disturbing wasteland of Olatha, to making an RPG Maker game actually look and feel compelling and fun. One of the most important things for an RPG game is making the characters interesting through empathy and introspection. The person playing has to care about the characters. But how can you make someone empathetic for characters that do not speak? A good friend of mine asked me a really interesting question. Why do I care about the crew and Lisa if you can't communicate with them outside of battles? Well, here's the reason why. The reason I cared for the crew was that they were important in reaching my goal of getting Buddy back. But not just in the sense that they were an ends to a means. <laughs> They willingly, for the most part, entered my crew in an effort to help me achieve my goal. This gameplay mechanic in a subtle manner showed the character's empathy and interest in Brad, his goals, and his ambitions. As zany and dumb as some of the characters are in the party, their willingness to explore the wastelands of Allah, based on limited interactions with the strange man, shows a sort of human element to them. Especially if you consider the current situation at hand, Olaf is this giant wasteland full of people who probably have lost a lot of hope and do not give a shit about anything. So to them, the worst there's not that much there's not that much worse than There's not that much worse that can happen than already. There's not that much bad There's not there isn't that there isn't as much worse things that can happen that already haven't happened already. Does that make sense? They follow Brad because they trust him, and this trust makes me care for them. They trust me enough to follow me, and to disappoint them, to hurt them, or let them die. Is to betray them. And that's it, that's my little short thought bubble on uh, Lisa the Painful. I had this written down like freaking, I think, years ago, and uh... If you have a couple of bucks to spare, you know, like 10 bucks, I wholeheartedly recommend Lisa. Uh, it's a really good game. Really good.